Hello and welcome to something new. Yes, I decided to go ahead and try this game out. Or well, not try it out, but try to let's play it. This is uh, Ocarina of Time. As we all know. Without a doubt the most famous and most liked Zelda game. Um, pretty sure. Well, I guess uh, with YouTube, I think Majora's Mask has totally gained ground, um, and I think it has quickly become become a lot of people's favorite. To me, though, um, I I think I like this one better than Majora's Mask. To be honest. I don't know, if I were to rank Zelda games, I don't really know exactly where this would fit in. Um, I guess I'm gonna talk a little bit about that um, later, if I, remem if I remember. But yeah, we're just checking this out. I never watched this intro, but the music is really good. So I'm playing this on my original N64. I only ever had one game to N64 and it's obviously this one. I just told... Whoa. Hello. There we go. Yeah, I... I never really got into the N64 era, I guess. Um, don't really know why. I was just late to, to the party. Anyway, this is my original file that I created, uh, oh, wow, like, not really 20 years ago, but almost, <laughs> whoops, um, anyway, we're gonna name ourselves Link, and, uh, we're gonna be all happy about that name, that choice of name, but yeah, this game has obviously been done way too many times on YouTube, but I don't really care about that. Um, not sure how, I don't know, like reading and stuff, I, I don't know if I feel like doing that, there's just too much text, text in 3D Zelda games. But I'm I'm sure most people are familiar with the story already. So yeah, there's there's one thing about this game. Um, you know, I got it, uh, I think, a few years after it actually came out. And I had a lot of fun with it. I used to have a friend that helped me uh, go through this game. Because he had, uh, you know, he had it and he had completed it several times, so he, I guess he was kind of like an expert, if you will. Um, and I played it, you know, for a few years. I used to free roam this game actually. Um, it's actually kind of fun to just run around and do random stuff. And yeah, scary dude on the TV screen. We'll get to know him more later. Anyway, so uh, I played this game for a few years, but then I stopped do playing it. Um, and uh, with the uprising of YouTube, um, I remember I used to watch like people's top 10, top 5 Zelda games, and I used to watch watch a lot of the you know timeline stuff that people. They're probably still discussing it, but uh, anyway. And uh, wherever I went, you could always guess which which game was gonna be people's number one, and it was always this game. Um, now, I've said this many times on my channel, but Link to the Past is my all-time favorite Zelda game, and I love Link's Awakening. Um, I think the first two games are great, but it seemed to me at that time 
that people were always talking about this game, but always forgot about the, the four incredibly awesome Zelda games that came before this. And people were treating this as if this, you know, is the this is the the pinnacle of uh, Zelda. But to me, it has never been because, uh, as I said, I really liked the, the games that came before. So because of that, I I got mad <laughs> at this game, I guess. Um, because I was thinking that people give so much credits to this game, but they completely neglect the games that came before it, that made this game what it is. Um, this is how I how I used to think at that time. So I was kind of, uh, oh, I don't know, I can't find a good word for it, but you know, I was uh, pretty bitter with this game for a while. But then in 2000 10 I think I decided to do a playthrough of this game for the first time in in years and I had one heck of a time playing this game and uh, since then I have um, I'm, I'm, I'm not mad at this game anymore I actually think it's incredibly fun um, and it's a really really good game I mean it to a certain degree, it deserves all of the attention that it that it has gotten. I think um, because it is a brilliant game in many ways. Um, and um, to me, it beats Majora's Mask. And uh, I don't know if it beats Wind Waker. I do really, really like Wind Waker. I think it beats. Um, Twilight Princess, but uh, I don't know. I shouldn't be ranking games. So we've gotten Navi, who's our fairy companion, and we're a young young child in Kokiri Forest, and here we are. So I'm not really sure how I'm gonna approach this game, but uh, I guess I'll we'll see how I'll do it. Kokiri Forest, and our best friend Saria. Yay! Yahoo! I'm fine, and you? Hi, Link! Alright, so you can either climb the stairway or you can do a backwards uh, jump. And then it's optional if you want to talk to her or not. Wow, a fairy! Finally, a fairy came to you, Link! Yeah, I'm so happy. That's great news! I'm so happy for you! I'm a true Kokiri! Yay! He did! apparently. Yeah, it's an honor to talk to a tree. Get going, go see the great Deku tree. I will, but first I want to take a look at this, which I assume Link probably drew at some point in his life. Um, it's quite nice. I do think that for, for being a very old game and, you know, an early an early 3D game. I still think the the game looks great. I think it has aged really well, and um, the controls are very fluent and very smooth. So um, yeah, it's a it's a joy to play. And uh, sure, I do think Navi can get annoying sometimes, but I really don't think she is an, as annoying as people think she is. Um, Come with me! Alright, yeah, I guess we, we have to do this. Um, we should talk with Mido before we start doing this, because this is a let's play after all. I want to introduce the game, show off the game as much as I can. Hey, you! I don't know yet. But I have a fairy now. What? You got a fairy? Indeed he did. What? Because I'm better than you. That's why. This isn't funny. Uh, what do you mean? A sword and a shield, huh? I can get that. All right, I will. Jeez, you suck, Mido. I hate you. 
Alright, so uh, scattered throughout uh, the village here are a bunch of uh, blue rupees. And I can't get up here. Man, my phone keeps making a lot of noises. I should have put it on silent mode before starting this. Woohoo, I'm so awesome. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, I did play this uh, only a few months ago. I think in August. So... Um... I mean, that is no indication of uh, me being good at the game or anything, but uh, I guess I don't really have an excuse for it when I suck. <laughs> anyway, the sword would be over here, as if you didn't know that. You just climb through. And... Um, yeah, you can also find some rupees here, but I think I'm going to get them after I get the sword. Be careful about the boulder. I think I missed one, actually. Oh well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and get the sword. Yay! The Kakiri sword! That is so awesome. It's a hidden treasure. Well, I'm not going to borrow it. I'm going to steal it. Mwahaha. <laughs> so, um, you have to equip it yourself. But that is fine. No big deal, really. It's a good sword. I'm just going to wait here for the boulder to pass, I think. And here's another blue rupee. Um, I can't remember if you get one from destroying this sign. No. There are several ways to, to get rupees here early on. Some Sometimes it seems like they almost appear out of random. I mean, I know it isn't random, but um, I'm not sure exactly... Because you can get some here, like by jumping across the fences or something like that. Uh, I'm not really sure what that is about. Um, you can get one by destroying this sign. See? is cool. Um, let's see if we have any other locations. We only need 40 rupees, but uh, I'm gonna try to show you all the locations I know. I wonder if it's in here. So like a house with a couple of treasure chests in it. Nope. But we can uh, destroy these pots and get some monies out of here. Oh, even a blue rupee. Oh, hello there. Sorry for breaking your property. My sister took some rupees and went shopping at the store that has a red roof. Tee. <laughs> oh yeah, I know this stuff. That's like basic Zelda knowledge. But I don't, I don't know how true it is these days. Um, since they've, you know, introduced like a whole bunch of different colored rupees. Even in this game we have some uh, different colored ones, so... Where is that goddamn house? I think it's actually over here. Yeah, so the first episode here is gonna be a bit... Uh, slow, maybe. Because I'm just gonna run around the village. And, uh, yeah, here we go. I guess we can open all these other chests. Oh, another fi five rupee. Another blue rupee. And some hearts. I don't really need hearts. Sorry. I think that other chest is a heart too, so... Not even gonna bother. So, as you might have seen, you can find rupees in the grass too. Uh, this is something you can do many times over. Like, each time you enter this area, you can jump across these three platforms and get another blue rupee. And here's the shop. But first, look this way. Look over here with Z. And talk to me with A. No, thank you. I'm fine. There's also this one over here, which is obviously... I mean, it's it's well known, obviously, but it's easy to miss. You can see what some, why someone would miss it. Hello there. I'm gonna get a shield. Bye. Thank you.
Yeah, yeah. No, I'm good. Thank you anyway, though. Alright, so let's equip it. And now we can go and see Mido again. I know, I know, you said this before. What's that? Indeed I have. That, my friend, would be a sword. Good grief. Really? Grumble, grumble, haha. -ha. Okay, so our first fight will happen right around the corner here. With some Deku flowers, ah! Or whatever they are. But they will turn into Deku sticks, which are very handy. Very handy items. I don't really care about the explanation. I can tell you how, how to use them if you don't know. Now these guys will respawn uh, after a certain time has passed, so... Uh, yeah. And here he is, the great Deku tree. I'm back! After what, 10 minutes? Wow, it's a pretty big tree. And I'm not gonna try to read the uh, the old English or whatever it is here, because I'm sure I would make many, many mistakes. Wait, I've been having nightmares. Yeah. Alright. You have been cursed. I see. I think I have the courage to do it. Then enter. Sure thing. If she bugs me enough, I will. But here we are, already at the first dungeon. Now compare this intro to, to uh, like Twilight Princess, where it takes like two hours to get to the first dungeon. Sweet. But I will be doing inside the Deku Tree in the next episode. So. Uh, Thank you guys for watching, and see you on the next one. Bye.